Thank you for joining us today to learn about the M-Audio Hammer 88 Pro. This video is going to cover the built-in arpeggiator that is found on the keyboard. On the Hammer 88 Pro, you'll find the arpeggiator under fader number one. Press this button to activate it. The arpeggiator's rate is based on the current tempo and time division settings. Tempo settings are edited by using the tempo button. To change the time division of the arpeggiator, press the fader buttons with quarter, eighth, 16, 32 with mode LEDs off, or holding the note repeat button and turning the encoder. Let me show you what that sounds like. So I'll put on quarter notes, eighth, 16, and 32. You can also sync the arpeggiator to an external MIDI clock source. The clock source can be edited in preset edit mode and pressing the tempo button. Arpeggiator functionality is available in two keyboard modes, DAW and preset. Another great option is being able to change the time division settings to triplets by pressing the time division button once. Let me show you an example of that. So we got eighth, and if I hit it once, you'll see it blinking and it'll be turned into triplets, just like that. Now let me show you how to edit the arpeggiator. To start, press the shift and the ARP button. Now you get your first selection, which is type. Push in the encoder knob, and the first one you have is up, but you also get some great selections in here. You can even put it into random if you want. And here are some examples of the types that the arpeggiator has. all the way back to up. Turn the encoder two to the right, and you get your selections for octave. Right now, I'm on zero, but if you push in the encoder knob, move one, two, and three. To confirm, push in the encoder knob. Now, if you turn the encoder to the right, you get your gate selections. So if you push any encoder knob and bring it down, that'll close up the gate. And all the way up, we'll open it up. A lot of creative features that you can do with this. I'm gonna move back down to 50. Now, the next option is your swing. You get 50, all the way up to 75, and you can really hear that swing coming in. Move it back down to 50. And now this next option is super cool, and it is your split mode. What that does is you can assign a certain section of the key bed to be just the arpeggiator, and everything else around that not arpeggiating. So push in the encoder knob, choose your first range, and then your last. Now what this does, Standard notes, and now our range here. And then back to standard keys. This was an overview of the built-in arpeggiator on the Hammer 88 Pro. Hope you found it helpful and have a great day.